In this video, I'm going to talk about image storage within Microsoft Power Pages. Now, I'm in make.powerpages.microsoft.com. I'm in the Power Pages Design Studio. I've opened one of the website, uh, which is provisioned out of the box. And there are like set of pages within the main navigation. What I'm going to do is like I'm going to click on plus page and I'll add a new page called as uh, maybe services. Okay, And I'll use a blank standard layout. Now, this is a services page. Now, what I can do over here is I can uh, start working on images, okay? Now, first thing what I, I see is that this is a site header image. So if I click on edit site header, then I can see that I can upload a logo. Okay? So if I click on upload image, then it will allow me to upload an image. Now, first option, what you see is the media library. So this is your media library. Okay, now remember, this is a very important concept because uh, it's very essential to understand where does your image goes in. Okay, now if you upload an image, so take for example, if I upload an image, then uh, it will show me a screen whereby I can upload those images, but then where does this image go? Now there is a section called as advanced options. So if I click on advanced options, there you will find a page selection uh, criteria. So if you select choose a page home, I can select all the various pages which are available within the main navigation section okay so if you see this part and this part i can select any page okay if i select pricing then all the image will be started uh, linked to the uh, pricing page but i'm not going to do that i'm just select home okay i'll show you what does that mean okay so if i click on done okay now if i upload this image say take for example if i upload say cat.png Okay. Now, once this image is uploaded, it is now associated with a page. So all the image you upload gets associated to a specific page. Now, this PNG image is now associated to a page. Now I can click on OK, then this logo will be changed. Now, what are the other options? Now, I can pick an image from stock images. So these are like stock images which are provided freely by Microsoft. So I can select uh, various uh, out of the box uh, free to use uh, images for my applications. So I can select from a whole lot. Uh, I can even categorize based on transportation or hobbies or science or architecture or photography or if I want to sport images or even images related to skill. So, or maybe related to sky or tourism. So there's a whole bunch of category which has already been provided by Microsoft over here. So see it's creativity, planning, task, working, teamwork, industry, cooperation, travel, uh, activity. Now, let me see if I can find animals. So I can see animals as well, you know. Uh, so like this, you can find out all the images and you can just select it and then those images will get uploaded. If I click on icons, I can even upload an icon. Okay, so I can see a whole bunch of black and white icon. So I can select that for my uh, full library of creative content. So as you see the note over here, it says as a Microsoft 365 subscriber, you have access to a full library of creative content. Okay, and if I want to search for say something called let's say arrow icon, okay, I can find it arrow icon, or maybe if I want to see a uh, back icon, <coughs> I can see this back icon, or maybe play, okay, I can see the play icon, okay, so play in the context of playing an audio or playing uh, some sport, okay, so it picks up all those uh, visual cues, illustrations, so I can, uh, if I just close it out, I can see various illustrations as well, you know, I can select various illustrations, I can select decorative, I can select school, pattern, and so on and so forth. But that, that's uh, what the capability you find. Also, you can select URL, okay? Uh, a specific URL, if an image is already hosted in some content delivery network, then you can use this image URL and thereby you can uh, uh, set those uh, icon. Now, let me select this and if I click on OK, now this image will get replaced over here, okay? Now, this image which we have uploaded where now we have mentioned that uh, it is linked to the home page okay now you might say hey you are in services page you have changed the site header uh, and how come it is linked to home page now yes every image is associated with some pages 
Now, how to uh, view all those things is uh, you need to first go into the Power Pages management site, okay, the backend site. Now, I'm the Power Pages management site, which is the backend site, which stores all the uh, configuration information of Power Pages. If we go into web files, okay, and here, let me uh, filter by the website. So my website is Portfolio 2024. And here you will see all the images which you have uploaded. Okay. Now, if you want to see which is which image which you have uploaded, so maybe I'll just add this column created on apply and I'll filter this by newer to older. Then you should see all the images which has been uploaded. So now I've uploaded this cat.png. Okay, now this image which I have uploaded. Uh, now if I click on this image, I can see that uh, this image is linked to parent page. Now this is where the linking happens, okay? Now it is linked to parent page. Now from, say take for example, if you have mistakenly selected home page as a parent page, you can change the uh, page over here, you know? Now I'm previewing the uh, web page. So if I click on preview desktop, then this web page will be loaded with the updated icon image over here. Okay, side icon image. Now, remember, this is a cat image which we have just uploaded. Now we said that this is a referencing a home page. What does that mean? Is like if I just do a right click and if I click on copy image link and if I start pasting in the browser, you get a direct URL. Okay, you get a direct URL which says the URL of your website and cat.png so you can read easily access this particular image okay now that's what the back end uh, system indicates so in the back end if you go if you see here there's cat.png okay and it is pointing to the home page now what you can do in order to fix that you can again go back to site header here you can see the site logo go to upload image and now here, if I go to advanced option, and if I say, oh, um, by default, there's a home page, maybe let me select, say, block page, okay? And I'll select cat.png, I'll click on OK. And now, again, the, uh, the images will be uploaded from that same location. Uh, but now I'll just do a sync, a quick sync. Let me close all this thing. And once it is refreshed, let me refresh this again. Yeah. Now, if I just hover my mouse over this icon, I'll just say copy image link. Now, if I paste it, now see what happens to the URL. Now it is coming from slash blog. So that means the image is now associated to the blog page. Okay. And that's why the URL has changed. And now if I hit enter, I get a direct access to this uh, image okay so that's the purpose of basically referencing the uh, web files to a specific page within your uh, power pages site now all the images which you upload using the designer uh, application so take for example if i go to say v1 page and let me add an image maybe so let me add an image and here maybe I'll upload an image of say maybe dog. Okay. So it is not specific to just a site logo, but then it is applicable for any image, you know. From here you can select advanced option. Now this is also coming as a part of this block uh, page reference. Okay. Now remember any page you select make sure that that page has is like open for all it is uh, accessible by everyone if it is locked then you are technically uh, allocating that particular space for the uh, for the image to be part of the page which is locked and that's why uh, you know whenever your page gets loaded those resources may not be rendered so make sure that whenever whatever page you select over here it should be uh, open for all now what do you mean by open for all let me show you in this interface so take for example here if i select over here if i click on page settings under permissions anyone can see this page i meant to say that so whatever page you have if you just mark it as anyone can see this page then it is fine okay 
But what if I make this as, uh, I'll, let, let me show you again uh, what's happening, okay? So let me first sync this up. So we have uploaded this image. And uh, if you want to see the direct access for this image, uh, what you will do is once the page loads, you navigate to the V1 page. And from the V1 page, you just do a right click, copy image link, and here you can paste it. Now here you can see blog doc dot jpg. And from here, you can access the direct uh, uh, URL for that particular file. Now, what if I mark this as not available? So if I go to page settings, go to permission, I want to choose who can see this page. Let me just say authenticated users and click on OK. And now sync this. Okay. And once it is synced, I can navigate to that V1 page. Then then what you have seen is that now the page is not getting loaded because it is asking for authentication because this page needs to be uh, you know, authenticated and so it is always advisable that uh, if you want to upload any image within your power pages site make sure that you use either home or maybe any other say page uh, which is like open for uh, uh, everyone so that anyone can view this page and thereby you know you can uh, put those files over uh, there now here uh, under the web files, you will see that uh, you have whatever you have uploaded has come over here. Now there is an option to, you can upload it on, you can just click on new and then you can upload that file. So take for example, if I say, uh, if this is file name, it's called a scenery. I can just say this website uh, is portfolio 2024, partial URL is say maybe scenery and I'll just save this, okay. now. After you, before you save, it will ask you for publishing state. You just put the publishing state as published. Now, till now, we haven't uploaded any image, okay? So I just clicked on save now. Now, once you set the state, you just put the name, you put the website, you put the partial URL and the publishing state, then this particular button gets light up. So file content, here you can choose the file. So here I can select whatever file I want. So maybe I'll just, just call this as say doc one, okay? Now here, upload this file. Now this particular file is now saved in my application, okay, doc1.jpg. But if I refresh the design studio, now I've uploaded doc1.jpg. Now where does that file go? You know, can we directly reference that uh, particular file in the design studio? Uh, let's see. So here, so take for example, I've created a new page called as uh, V6, okay? And I want to reference that dog one image, okay? So if I click on image, then here, I don't see that file, right? I can't see doc1.jpg. I can't use stock images because stock images are all provided by Microsoft. Media library is the one which we have uploaded, but how do we access those images, okay? Now, the file name was scenery. So if I just type in scenery, and I can see this, this is a scenery file, which I have uploaded. The name is scenery, but the file content is doc1.jpg. Now, if you just hover mouse over here, you will see some URL on the, uh, on the, like the bottom of the screen, okay? Now, what I'm do, I'll just copy the link, okay? Now, if I copy the link, I'll just paste this link. What it does is, it downloads that image okay so that means it is referencing that particular image from that url okay now how does the url looks like uh, let me show you so i open my notepad and if i paste this so this is how the url look like looks like so api data v9.0 power pages component and then file content dollar value now this is a url you once you put this in the browser it downloads that uh, document or the image 
Now from here, what you can do, if you just click on URL and put that image URL over here, now it will interpret that image URL and then you can use that image in your application. So this is the purpose of this URL, okay? Now again, this advanced option is again belonging to wherever you want to select, make sure that that page is well shared, uh, it is not locked. Uh, and once you're done with this, just click on okay and you can render those image within your uh, application, okay? So, so that's it folks. This is all about image storage within Power Pages uh, Design Studio. It is always essential to understand where does your image reside, how it is structured, uh, what is the purpose of the web files, uh, file, uh, uh, how the files are stored, uh, what are the parameters, what is the purpose of parent page uh, and how this file content is displayed. Now there are other options like content disposition which is like if you want to store it as an inline or as an attachment that settings can also be done. Mostly attachments are done for PDFs if there are any documents which you need to attach to the record then uh, content disposition attachments are used. So that's how you basically use web files within Power Pages design studio. Thanks for watching.